Good morning! How's everybody doing this morning? I hope you're doing great, because uh, we're getting ready to do a giveaway. Who won the giveaway from last week? Do y'all remember we had two crosses we're giving away and a biker ring? So what we're going to do is get ready to get that done right now. Are y'all ready? Here it is! Who's the winner? Check it out. Alright, who's ready to find out who the winner is? As y'all know, last week we uh, I came out with two crosses we'll be giving away and a biker ring. So, are y'all ready to get started? Alright, the first thing we want to do is put the YouTube link right in here. I already got that saved on my... in there, so that should be it right there. Let me go through here and see what else we got here. Um, we're going to filter any duplicates. Uh, let's see, exclude users... Based on specific text, and the first one we'll do will be the cross. Cross is, but we'll just put cross. All we got cross, cross is, you're in. So then we'll go down here, no remnants. Okay, then they give you this little thing to make sure you're not a uh, robot or whatever, I guess. All right, let's see, if get YouTube comments. How many people put cross on there? 58 people put cross on there. So now what we're going to do is go pick out the winner for the two crosses. Are y'all ready? Bam! All right, here we go. You might see your name come across. Keep your eyes open. Ian Yams! Congratulations. He put cross. Awesome. And I'll get those shipped out to you. Send me your address to uh, gigmaster2718 at gmail.com. All right. All right, let's see. Now we're going to go back. Let's see if we can go back to here. And we're going to put biker... K-E-R. And the same thing here. Now we should be able to show random names here again here in a second here. Let's see what we got here. We got to do another little thing here to make sure it's not a robot here. Get YouTube comments on Biker29. All right. And we're going to see who won the biker ring. I hope somebody that is a biker wins this one. All right, y'all ready? All right, here we go. Bam! All right, there we go. I see all kind of names going across there. UFO Pirate 17. Comment, biker. Congratulations, UFO Pirate 17. You just won a biker ring. Send me your information, your mail and address to gigmaster2718 at gmail.com. I will appreciate it, and thanks, everybody, for joining with me on the giveaway. We'll be doing some more, so stay tuned. All right, congratulations to the winners. Just send me your address to gigmaster2718 at gmail.com. Speaking of that, uh, as y'all know, what, a week or two ago, we did a giveaway of some rings, and a guy named Steve Buns won. I never heard from him. So what we're going to do, we're going to give him, I think it was 11 rings I think I was giving away, but what we're going to do, we'll give him two more weeks because I won't be here next Tuesday. We won't be doing an update, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But, um... If I don't hear from two weeks, what I'm going to do is go back to that original video. Whoever put rings in that video, we're going to do another giveaway on those rings if I don't hear from him in two weeks. So, just keep that in mind. You have to go back to that video put rings in it again if you want to. But if you already did it, you're still in there. It hasn't gone anywhere. I can just pull that up and whoever commented. So, we're still good. Um, Y'all might have saw me put, this a little update. Uh, a video of a beached whale right here in Virginia Beach here uh, within the past week or two. And uh, it was called a right whale. And it had washed up on the beach. And they're endangered species. So only like 300 left in in the wild. And uh, so they did it. They were concerned with it. So the marine biologists all came down there and the government. And they did a little uh, operation on them. Check them out. Blood samples. Trying to see what happened. And they found out he had been hit by a ship. And that's what caused him, caused him to pass away. But they wanted to find out if it was some kind of disease in the water, something happening that caused things. But they said he was hit by a ship. I guess they could see some damage inside once they cut him up because they did cut him open and checking things out. Uh, the reason why they get the name the right whale is because back in the days when the whale hunters were there, it was a good whale for them to kill because he was so slow they could catch up with him and kill him. And he floated once he was dead. So... The right whale. He's being slowed up. Might have been caused his death here in, in the channel in a harbor here because we got lots of ship coming and going. It's not real fast, but we have them in here, I guess, all the time. But they don't get hit that much. So anyway, that's what the issue was on that. Um, 
Let's see, uh, Kion. I'm still working with my Kion. I worked on pouring some silver bullets the other day. Y'all see that video coming up. Um, I've definitely got some other ideas going on here for the kiln that we can use it for and do some more, little more, uh, uh, experimentation, let's call it that. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I'll definitely be working on some more stuff with the kiln. Um, uh, every week now, y'all, as y'all know, I've been, uh, kind of transferred over from the, um, Days 2 to the Legend. I'm working the Legend right now, and, um, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to probably do a Legend update every week for those of you that have the Legend. I did buy a second Legend. Y'all know I have to buy two machines. Whatever machine I get, I get a second one because in case something happens with one or I run over my car, I got a backup, right? And here's the one I just got. This particular package, I just bought it. I just got, I haven't used this machine yet. But uh, what do y'all think? Looking good. This one does come, interesting enough, I don't know if you really need it, but it comes with a battery right here that mounts right on here. You tighten it up right here. You charge it up, and it goes right to the pod, and it's waterproof, actually. Um, they tell, say don't take it underwater, but it's listed as waterproof. So, anyway, I'm not sure why they do it that way, but if it rains or whatever else, at least you ain't got to worry about it. Because it is sealed. I pulled it out when I charged it, and you see the little rubber O-ring seal on it. So, it is sealed. Uh, I really do like... My charging stuff that goes inside of a connector like this versus an external, like the mine lab uses like the loop. Uh, where you charge that, you got actually it's exposed to the water and you put it on top. I'd rather have it sealed in a pin setting like that myself, anyway. But anyway, back to the battery. Anyway, there it is right there. Um, I've actually been using the ledge now uh, at least a month. Never had the battery even go down but one bar, I think, ever looked. So I never had an issue with the battery, but. It's kind of nice, I guess, to have it if you, you're doing like a two-day hunt. Don't and forget to charge it. And you'd always have that one just to plug in and go. So, I guess it could be useful, but I probably would. It came with the package. I might not have bought it otherwise, but not hurting anything. I'm sure I probably won't leave it on. I'll keep it in the car. That way, if it, something happened, I forgot to charge it. That can happen. I'd have that battery, boom, ready to go. So, keep getting up. Um, also, I won't be here... Uh, next Tuesday, I'll be on a, another cruise. We're going out on another cruise to, we just hopefully hit two beaches, uh, metal detecting. And I am going to take the legend. I got a video coming out Friday. I think it is. They'll show you me packing this together to take on the cruise. I've, I've taken the Equinox, I think the, the day is on cruises, trying different ones. And the problem is some of them, the shaft with the modules are too long to go in, in my backpack and all. But this one fit. Perfect, you'll see that on Friday's video, so I'm looking forward to getting out with that down there. Um, what else we got going on here now? I think that's going to about cover all my updates this week right now. Um, anyway, get out there and I hope everybody finds some good stuff here. Uh, we're going to be down, like I say, out on a um, um, cruise, hitting a couple beaches, at least one for sure, maybe two, and see how we do. I can't wait. All right, I'll keep y'all up to date on the cruise. We'll definitely do some um, reels. So look out on my reels and uh, pot and some videos for sure on the beaches and all. And I might even show you some stuff like, for those of you that never cruise, what it looks like when you try to go on a cruise and some of the things you need to keep your eyes open for. And uh, I've been on enough now that I kind of know what to look for and what to do to keep safe. So anyway, we'll try to do that too. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click the like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll see you on the cruise next week. Stay tuned.